hivyo ni kusema Rashid ni bwana mzuri ni bwana mzuri ni rafiki mzuri sikumbuki ule wakati hata tuligombana mbaya mbaya mm -mm. sija kumbuka hata tumetetishana so aendelee hivyo hivyo endelee hivyo hivyo kwa mwais Nicholas hata kama wewe utaka kufanya kazi na mke wako sinaona mmejifungua juzi si ndio Welcome to Bed Palace Kenya, home of quality, affordable and luxurious beds. We have also diversified to classic sofas. Visit our showroom in Vindigwa, Kiambu Road opposite Quickmart as well as Roy Sambu Thika Road. Contact us on 0725-414-842. Bed Palace, the ultimate solution to insomnia. everyone karibuni sana we have the beautiful yani mpenzi eh, si mtazamaji eh. lakini leo ni kama ni mtazamaji kwa sababu she is on the other side of the microphone this is the one and only lulu hassan hi lulu how are you i'm well how are you niko poa kabisa mm -hmm. labda unaweza ukatuambia tuko hapa kwa ajili yako tuambie mbona um i think mko hapa kwa ajili ya uzinduzi wa tamthilia ya zari zari series um ni tamthilia kipekee and this is a first for the country i can say cuz ni tamthilia ambayo inaenda dakika 45 na hewani ni 1 hour so i think siju kama mli notice kwamba mmeka 8:30 to 9:30 that was 1 hour so ni kitu ambaye jaifanyika na ni from monday to friday Yeah. Na labda unaweza ukatuambia mbona one hour kwa sababu wengine wanapewa 30 minutes 45 minutes but how come you guys got this chance of actually having a longer time? Mm -hmm. I think cuz uh, back then tumeonyesha kwamba we can do it. Uh, as a company you've seen kwamba tuna handle so many productions at a go. So uh, na ukiangalia katika hiyo hour yenye tumepewa most of the time huwa ni Mexican soaps za one hour. So uh, sasa hii serikali wanasema kwamba at least 70% ama 80% iwe local content. But sasa wakaona I think GF can do it. Yeah. So hii ni kujaribu ni kufungulia milango kwa producers wengine ambao tukimaliza zari huenda wengine pia wakachukua hiyo slot wakafanya one hour as well. Okay. Mwanzo kabisa wacha nikwambie congratulations Thank kwa kazi you. kazi ni safi zari ni kazi amazing sana and maybe what is different up you've done so many movies series mmefanya mingi labda ni kitu gani tofauti ambacho mmekifanya kwa zari uh, zari ni cocktail mimi nitakwambia ni cocktail iko na wasanii ambao wamezoea sana wamebobea sana alafu kuna wasanii ambao the very green green si ati ni wabaya but hawajawahi kuwa kwa set yeah. This is the first time they're doing it na ni kama 50 50%. 50 wazoefu, 50 si wazoefu. Yeah. Mm. Tukipiga story na Rashid alituambia leo mlikuwa mnaachia mtoto mtoto mgeni sasa yeah. sasa ni kwa watu wa mnyonyeshe. <laughs> uh, Lulu, huu mtoto wa leo ni wangapi hivi? Because umeachia wengi sana. Mm. Eh, hey, umenipa kibarua. I think wa nane ama tisa if I'm not wrong. Mm. Ni ya tisa hii. Yeah, I think ni ya tisa ama nane. I'm not so sure but uh, niki count maybe ni ya nane ama tisa. Mm. Uh, ah, pale kwenye blogs online zinasema kwamba you and Rashid actually own Maisha Magic. Tell us about that. Hey, we don't own Maisha Magic. But ukiangalia back in the day there's a time tulikaa sana bila kupewa vipindi Maisha Magic na watu wengine pia walikuwa navyo. So sioni kwa nini mtu aseme tuna own. Eh ningekuwa na own hiyo kitu I see. <laughs> hey. Hi, but anyway ni Mungu tu na kazi yetu nzuri. Hatujai disappoint client. So I think time imefika pia hata wao wanapewa wanashukuru wanasema kwamba GF is a good company. Hawezi kusikia malalamisho yoyote kutoka some of our cast members and crew so Lulu ni mwanamke ambaye na support mume wake sana. Mm. What motivates you like tukiangalia kila mkiwa hata pale kwenye TV inaonekana yeah. you really support your husband. Mm. What, what motivates you to support your man? Just like that. Hivyo tu si kila mtu fanya hivyo. Our kids. Uh -huh. mm. Kitu inatufanya ambayo tu, tuna supportiana. Mimi pia tunaangalia wale watoto. Hawa watoto wana maisha. Yeah. And then uh, kuna maisha ambayo si tunaishi. Tunasema kwamba pia watoto wetu mm -hmm. In the event hii itaisha 
watoto wetu wa sifilio pinch ama kukwe na gap waseme eh wakati mama na baba walikuwa kwa tv maisha yalikuwa hivi sasa hivi umeona so tuna work very hard to make sure kwamba hawata feel any gap ama pinch yoyote maisha yao pia yataendelea yani tuna set standard tofauti yao at least waendelee na maisha yao pia wao eh wasikuwe na ugumu wote to add on that you one of the bosses ambao ni wa humble sana yeah. we've interacted with some of the actors ambao mmeweka kwenye nini series and movies zenu na wanasema you guys yeah. ile relationship kuna even outside the camera ni amazing sana maybe ni kitu gani ambacho wako kinawafanya mnaamua ku interact na wafanyikazi wenu kwa uzuri you are so humble yeah. uh, tujawaiona mkiwa like ile level ya unapata it because you are a boss una behave sasa wewe ni boss yeah. Yeah. i think tuna behave hivyo manake pia sisi ni wafanyakazi wa mtu Uh, tuko na boss SK Masharia wa Shira Waruru sisi ni wafanyakazi wake so tunajua kenye tuna feel na wao wafanyakazi wetu venye wana feel so tuko kwa viatu vyao pia in one way or the other mm. uh, lulu kwa kawaida huwa ni vigumu sana kufanya ku mix business and pleasure na pleasure ya wapi <laughs> wewe we na Rashid nyinyi ni mke na bwana mm-hmm. inakuwaje kwa ndio mnafanya kazi wewe uhusiano uko vipi wa kazi Nicolas hata kama wewe pia utaka kufanya kazi na mke wako. Sinaona mmejifungua juu juzi. Si ndio? Mnapaswa kuwa marafiki kwanza. I think to create ile friendship kabla tu waone. So mimi kwangu Rashid ndio ni mume wangu but mume haiji kwanza. Kwanza ni rafiki. Umeona? Uh, I, I think namchukulia kama rafiki and then mume ni baadaye. Si ndio? Mume ni nyumbani. Nyumbani kabisa sio kazini. Mm. Rashid da watu wanasema labda you are a perfect couple na mkosani ndio tunaona kila siku mmefurahi kwa screen maybe mnakosana gama <laughs> eh hey, kukosana ga kupo binadamu gani wakosani kila mtu anakosana but mkikosana um, si lazima muoneshe kila mtu mmekosana and there's a way you can solve your problem as well bila dunia nzima kujua unanielewa uh, kitu mimi nafurahia ni kwamba niko na bwana ambaye ni ukimuona anaka mdogo lakini mazungumzo yake wale utadhani unaongea na mtu na miaka 60. He's very wise. Menelewa, ni yule mtu ambaye hawezi kubali kwamba tulale na makasiriko. We need to talk. Hata kama unajifanya wewe una matantrums and what you you'll have to talk before mulale. Uh, na labda tukirudi hapo kwa Zari tena Lulu. Unajua uh, the previous um, uh, series ambao mme produce sometimes mnatumia main characters mnatumia sura ambazo tutaziona kabisa. Lakini kwa hii mmetumia uh, faces that we've seen over and over. Maybe you could tell us briefly what led to that decision. Um actually hii show ni very huge. Na hii show hata ukiongea na cast na crew as much as ndio tunataka tukuze vipaji vipya but he show inahitaji dedication yenye aujaiona this is a one hour show a daily show so you can imagine the number of hours yenye watu wanaweka kwa hiyo kanzi na tuchukue mtu very green hajawahi wallahi ukimweka kwa hiyo set ata ata kubali kuendelea ata feel kwamba anachokeshwa cuz sasa kwa, kwa show kama za dakika 23 We can use the new faces. Menelewa. But for one hour trust me ata, atachukia hii job. Atachukia ads. Ataona ai hii kazi kumbe huwa ni ngumu hivyo. Lakini kwa yule ambaye ni mzoefu it will be easy for that person. Ukiangalia hii zari wengine nimesema nusu ni new but hawa take roles kubwa. Wenye wana take roles kubwa wanahitajika daily kwa set from Monday to Friday. To, we just rest on Saturday and Sunday. Mm. Apart from Na ni asubuhi from 6 yeah. to jioni itategemea mtamaliza 10 pm 9 so you can imagine kumweka mtu mwenye passion yake ni acting lakini sasa ukimuintroduce job ya kwanza ni hii ataona yeye unamfanyisha kazi kama punda but kwa mtu mwenye yuko passionate about it wallahi yufanya kazi Maybe mm. you look apart from auditions what else do you look in someone before mpatie kazi maybe mfanye naye kazi mm. ni kitu gani ambacho mnakizingatia sana kitambo we used to look at discipline na utendakazi wa mtu because you know what uh, our wasania wa, wa elewi kwamba producers talk umeelewa 
uh, unaweza taka msanii fulani mtakall producer ambaye namjua nitamwambia huyu nimemwona kwa show yako yupoje 1 2 3 1 2 3 at least tunamjua but right now i think uh, as a company we've grown sahi hatu hatufanyi audition sisi wenyewe kama umeona people really complain wanasema audition tunafanya wapi mnafanya wapi but sahi tuko na casting director ambaye ni Lorella she does all the work kwa sisi tukisema tuta post zitakuja mingi sasa hata wale ambao labda wana deserve hatutaziona so tumempatia hiyo kazi yeye ndo anashughulika na casting kuna mm. swali hapa uh, being one of the best couples in Kenya we understand that you are the best the best couple uh, <laughs> okay tunaona wengi eh, tunaona wengi wanaoleka leo kesho wanafanya rusi wanaachana pale wewe nini kinakuweka wewe na mume wako Rashid what is really keeping you guys moving? And maybe the second question after that one. Eh? Uh, we understand that this is the, this is a big idea. Maybe who, the, between the two of you, who came up with the idea? Swalila Kwanza, the best couple, your part. Like I said, Sisin Marafik. Hatu Korofishan, Nakamata Korofishana, Tutafanya Ndaneru. Naita Endelea, you ended the next day. Atu Jay Beba Makasiriko the next day. Menelewa. So I think hiyo ndio kitu inatufanya tunaendelea kukua. Na tukiangalia tuna watoto. Menelewa. Na tuna familia manyumbani wanatutegemea. So upendo automatically unakuja. Si ndio? Sio kama tumelewa. Nimejibu. Haya, alafu na hii idea nyingine ya Zari. Ah, uh, hii ni kitu tumefikuzia for a long time for a long time tukisema kwamba tunataka tufanye show ya 1 hour 1 hour but kwa hakuna hiyo muda hiyo time slot kwa hakuna but wakati umefika tuka pitch kama ujaiona kwenye multi choice wao wana portal time ya kupitch wana wanatuma kabisa watu watume uh, vipindi so we pitched and the rest is history ni wewe mwandishi wa zari ah mwandishi sio mimi mwandishi sio mimi uh, mimi sana sana na deal na operations uh, Rashid ndo na deal na script yeye ndo atakwambia hii inaenda hii direction wakae na writers like we sit every day with the writers like today tuko na Kasri kesho tuko na Zari and then we have Huba ya Tanzania and then we have Becky ya Kenya unaona so hizo teams kila kila kipindi kuna team zake za waandishi was you was you zidi was 5 so every day we have meetings a storyline kuna mm. swali na ningependa kujua kuna swali ulilizoa kama una own maisha magic ukasema au own maisha magic but eh una muna vipindi mingi sa zime air citizen tv tv zote nchini kenya na africa kuna siku mmekuwa na mawazo ya kufungua tv yenu nyinyi wenye wala wala hatuna mawazo kama hayo trust me kuwa na kitu kama hicho ni very expensive hatujafika huko na sidhani kama tunafikiria kitu kama hicho sisi kile ambacho tunataka from gfi ni ku create employment venye tuna create sai menelewa cuz uh, kila mtu ana dream yake ule ambaye alifungua maisha maji kama amefungua citizen tv alikuwa na ndoto ya kuwa na tv sisi hiyo ndoto ya kuwa na tv is them well, talking about hapo kwa creating opportunities. Unajua kuna narrative na kuanga pale nje kwamba Jiffy Pictures are the best paying production house. Yes. Do you acknowledge that? Yes, we are. Uh-huh. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> With <laughs> proof. Uh-huh. Mm. Someone will imagine why are you guys still employed? Have you ever thought of quitting employment and focus on that? Mhm. Maybe ni kubu, ni kuru, by then mesmama pasana sendo yeah. ni kurudisha nyuma uh, it's it's not about at uh, tuko na kazi so tuache hii kazi hii kazi ya kwanza pia ni kazi kwetu by the way na ukituona venye tuko kwa hiyo kazi ya kwanza kwa mtu mwenye hatujui hizi jua kwamba tuko na kazi nyingine ya pili umeelewa uh, news anchoring ama journalism ni kitu ambacho tunaipenda si wote umeelewa alafu mimi ukiangalia history yangu nilikuwa actress but sio watu wengi wanajua but back then we didn't get these platforms za kuonekana umeelewa so what we used to do tuko tunafanya hizi stage plays i remember uh, nili represent kenya by, back then in bagamoyo film festival uh, zifi ni zanzibar film festival nilikuwa na pita mudamba mudamba kama mnamjua um, so uh, acting iko kwa roho yangu 
iko kwa damu yangu so nilipopata hii tv kusoma news nikaona why not cause kuna watu wa kule nyumbani niliwaacha tulianza pamoja and hapa kuna platform nyumbani nilikuwa kuna platform ya kuonekana kwa tv si ndio so nikatumia hiyo opportunity kuvuta wale watu wangu pia wale ambao tulikuwa tume na wao maana leo so ndo tunasema hii tuna create stars na tuna create employment as well na unahisi vipi labda ukiona unahisi vipi ukiona watu ambao umewa support umepatia opportunity wanafanya vizuri wanajijenga wengine wamenua magari like wanaendelea vizuri mhm tunasikia sana tunasikia sana i wish mungeka hapa mkauliza mka wasani mkauliza crew members and they can tell you for sure for sure wengi wamejenga wengi wako na magari na si hapa peke yake sijui kama ameongea na wao wengine Tanzania we have artists from Tanzania wamejijenga kabisa ni through through sana so tunasema sana inalipa kwa yule ambaye anacomplain uko nje anasema sana hailipi mchunguze vizuri hajatumia pesa yake poa that's for a fact okay thank you for saying sana inalipa mm-hmm. now i would like to ask one question yes. concerning pesa to mm-hmm. peer because umesema sana inalipa inalipa sana mwisho mwezi mm pale kwenye bank mm. inaingia kama ngapi hivi inaingia wapi kwa wafanyakazi how much are you earning uh, kwangu hii mm. ikiingia kwangu inaenda kwa sanii so sisi sema ni mimi wallahi ningekuwa na anizo pesa mm. sasa nikaan guess kwa nimesema hapa mm. ningekuwa na bodyguard <laughs> ningekuwa nimekuja na helicopter yeah. kwa helipad so sisi sema niko worth hiyo pesa cuz ni pesa inaingia na kutoka Mm. Hello da Lulu uh, swali yangu ni advice what advice can you have for women in business how can it, how can they both balance a family and business and also to the young couples looking up to you and Rashid what can you tell them Mimi mm. naweza jeka kwamba ni business woman kweli sasa hivi Mm ni ni ku balance tu una balance unajua time ya familia time ya biashara yako kufanya though it's not easy like right now simnaona mtoto wangu wako hapa mm. but watoto wengine wamelala at this time but hii ndio the only time at least tunapata ku spend na yeye nini so ni tough but ukika ukifikiria nafanyia watoto so you just do it Mm. Okay. Uh, there is um, this like tuna wengi wetu tunatamani kuwa na bibi kama wewe. Wengine wako hapa wanatamani kuwa na, na bwana kama Rashid Abdalla pale. Maybe ukiangalia Abdalla pale, hebu tuambie kitu gani uliona kwa Abdalla ukaamua this gonna be my my husband. Hey mm. Kitu Kenya niliona kwa Rashid. Mnacheka. <laughs> um Rashid alikuja kwa maisha yangu nikiwa na wakati mgumu sana by the way. Hiyo ni time mama yangu alikuwa amepass. Unaelewa? Niko nimekuja Nairobi kutafuta kazi ya was a receptionist by the way hapo Kilimani. Na niliacha kazi Radio Salam. Nilikuwa radio presenter. Rashid akapata kazi Radio Salam. I went back to Radio Salam after mama amepita. Rashid alikuja kama rafiki kwanza. Unajua ile time umefiliwa you need a shoulder to lean on and stuff even ndo niliona Rashid niliona ka huyu ka baba mwenye nilikuwa sina kwa familia you know pole pole tu ikamea kwa mapenzi ndo tuko hapa sasa tuko na watoto watatu i think ni 15 years say marriage mm. Mm. Asante sana Lulu. Shine congratulations. Ni mambe ni nitambe nyumbani. Oh. Oh. Ati dear husband. Ah ah mimi wadi wao muita naye. Ah ah mimi najua kenye mnafanya. But uh, si talk, si taki toke kama na brag by the way because kuna hiyo misconception mtaeka kitu kwa online and then people think like usidhani ni wewe but si hivyo ni kusema Rashid ni bwana mzuri ni bwana mzuri ni rafiki mzuri sikumbuki ule wakati hata tuligombana mbaya mbaya sijakumbuka hata tumetetishana so aendelee hivyo hivyo endelee hivyo hivyo kwa mwaise endelee hivyo hivyo kupenda watu sorry endelee <laughs> endelee hivyo hivyo kupenda watu endelee hivyo hivyo kwa mchapa kazi by the way he's a workaholic yeah, mm. he's a workaholic unaweza amka yeye bado yako ka laptop 
Facebook, bado iko kwa laptop. Cuz truth be told, hizi kazi si rahisi. Kuna watu wanaona labda ah lulu na Rashid wanakuwa favored, but si hivyo. Mtu angekuwa kwa viatu vyetu, trust me angetoboa. Kulala tunalala very late. Kuamka tunamka very early wakati watu wanangorota. Yes. Hmm. 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 Menelewa, askate tama. Pia si tumetoka mbali by the way. So ya sijioni hati ya metoka mbali ya fanya kitu. Hakuna mtu ya fanya kitu. Menelewa. Hata nyi pia mweza fanya kitu. Si uyu githinji ya kwapa. By the way, mekona kwa gazeti juzi. Mnanza from somewhere. Menelewa. Mm. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.